Hi again. I got the haircut. Before I get into it today, a um, little update. I got a chance to try herring with wine sauce recently, which is... I'll uh, find a picture, hopefully, and, and put it up so you can see what I'm talking about. It's one of those things that I've always looked at and kind of gone, what the fuck is this shit? Because it looks like fish pieces in a jar with mayonnaise. Well, it turns out it's not mayonnaise. It's actually a clear sauce. It is a wine sauce, I guess. And uh, it turned out to be very good. I was shocked. I sort of gleefully ran up to the sample counter and was like, yes, I will eat this thing now. And then I ate it, and I was I was pleased. I, 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 I can't uh, describe it. It sort of tasted like sushi without the seaweed. Um, it was very, very sweet, a uh, little vinegary, and tasted vaguely of fish. Now, I wouldn't go out and like get a jar of it to eat on a regular basis, but if given a chance to eat it again, I don't see why I wouldn't. So anyway, no doubt you've looked at the title of this video and gone, Apples? What? I know what an apple is. Well, we happen to have some little tiny apples right now. And I saw a video online a little while ago, probably around the first of the year, and ever since I've kind of been tantalized by this idea. If you eat an apple head on from the blossom end, theoretically you can eat the entire thing minus the stem, which I have removed. Now as far as I know, common knowledge on apples is that you don't eat the core because the apple seeds are poisonous. Now this is not entirely true. I have actually I have pulled up the Wikipedia article on apples and they don't contain cyanide, they contain something called amygdalin which will turn into cyanide in your stomach but small amounts of seeds like the amount that you would get in one or even two apples is not going to be enough to harm a person. According to this the only case of fatal cyanide poisoning from apple seeds involved chewing and swallowing a cup of apple seeds. A cup. That is a lot more than you're going to get in a couple of apples. I will probably try not to chew the seeds just on principle, but I've always kind of thought that the core was going to be like woody, maybe not. So I'm going to try and do this. Uh, we'll see how it goes. The first bite is actually the one I'm dreading the most because of the, the desiccated blossom. Let me see if I can... No, it's not really going anywhere. I'll take a turn to the side and uh, probably fast forward through most of this so you don't have to watch me chewing. Yeah, I picked a small apple because this is not going to be easy. I don't know what kind of apples these are. So first bite went down without a hitch. There's still a little bit of brown stuff in there. I can feel myself recording or eating an entire apple. This is hard to do. I mean, I have a big mouth. Look at me. I have a huge mouth. And I can't fit this thing in there. How the fuck did that guy do this? Alright, I've broken through into the core, and uh, that bite was actually kind of hard. It took and went like at an angle. Um, it seemed to be tough when I was biting it, but uh, not when I'm chewing it, so. The core wall is tough. I don't think I'm gonna eat the seeds. Not because they're dangerous, but because it's like eating watermelon. Yeah, I spit the white seeds out. Okay, whoever came up with that video sucks. Because you can see the, the star pattern of the core there with the seeds in there is about two per cell. I just spit out about three more. Those walls are really tough. Um, they're tougher than the apple skin. I got them stuck in my teeth now. So yeah, I I don't think I don't think I'm gonna finish this. This is dumb and it doesn't seem to work. And 
What's the point? Ugh. <sighs>